Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share with you guys this strobe uh, for drones that I discovered. And actually, I want to give a big shout out to Stan Cook. I'll have a link to his YouTube channel down below. Stan shared this with me, and I thought this was really cool and wanted to share it with you guys. So I got ended up getting this off of Amazon. I love getting things from Amazon because they're easy return policy. But what this is, is a high-powered... Uh, LED strobe. It comes with a built-in battery and it's got a little button on here. Uh, it's over here. And then it's got also a USB charging port and it comes with a little micro USB charging cable. Also comes with a little piece of double-sided sticky tape. And again, I wanted to just kind of share this with you and use the, the spark as kind of perspective for the size for this. So uh, when Stan shared this to, uh, with me, in which, by the way, Stan's a re uh, retired, I think, Honolulu police officer, Hawaiian police officer. Big thumbs up, Stan. Thank you for your service. Um, I mean, come on, there's no other better place than Hawaii, right? But anyways, back to this. So he shared this with me, and uh, I thought of, when he did, I saw this and I said, hey, this is just simply too cool. I mean, there's a thousand and one uses for this guy. Um, I felt it a little bit pricey at about 26 to 28 bucks, uh, but when I started looking at strobes, this was actually pretty cheap. Uh, most of the strobes that I found out there, LED strobes, were about 42 bucks a piece. Um, but this comes with a battery, and the ones for 42 didn't. I'd like to be able to find this actually without the battery. I'm not sure that would be a huge price difference uh, because I can think of, again, a, a thousand and one uses for this. Uh, one of the uses that kind of hit me is, again, for uh, drone builders uh, to have this for low power warning because one of the crazy things, I think, is, you know, uh, you put a beeper on a drone uh, and it beeps when it's low power. I mean, really, I mean, how do you hear that over all the noise and everything else? This would be really cool. So when the battery hits a certain voltage, this thing starts strobing. Um, I mean, because you can see this thing a long ways away. I'll do some tests, and I've got a ton of other ideas coming up that I'll share with you guys in future videos. But I wanted to share the base unit. So, I mean, that was one of the uses. The other use that it's intended to is for 107 night flights. For those uh, who are licensed under 107 that want to seek a night flight waiver, you have to have a strobe, as I understand it. And I guess this qualifies for that. And so... Uh, this is the other thing I got thinking about um, when Stan shared this with me, is especially with the, the, the Spark, because the rules say line of sight. Now, the Spark, well, I can see it quite a ways out. You lose sight of this pretty quick in context to say a Phantom 3. But if you attach a strobe to it, does that count for line of sight if you can see the strobe? Um... I don't know if it does or not. I, I'm kind of thinking, I mean, if you can see the strobe, that means you technically can see the copter. You know its position in space. You haven't lost it or lost control of it. So this was an interesting concept is maybe adding this even for daytime flight to extend the visible distance of, of some of legal operation of this drone. Now, uh, again, I'm only thinking aloud here, kind of giving you guys ideas because, again, I thought of a thousand and one of them. But before we get any any further... Let's let's dissect this a little bit more. So let's move this over here. So one of the first things I want to take take a look at is the weight. How much does this guy weigh? So we'll put it on the handy dandy scale of truth. And it's showing about four grams. So this is pretty lightweight, even with the battery. How big is it? Let me move this out of the way and we will get our calibers off the wall from behind us. And uh so if we look at this, now one of the things in disclosure, the battery kind of sits a little past the circuit board. Uh, I don't know if they're all like this or this is a little um, jacked, but um, so this is about 25 millimeters uh, long and it's about 16.2 mm, millimeters wide. And, yeah, I'm going to drop it here. It's actually kind of tiny. About 6.4 millimeters thick. So, uh, pretty compact. Now, what this has is a 90 milliamp per hour battery, 3.7 volt on the back here wired into this. And again, this charges you. It doesn't come with a charger, so you have to provide your own USB-A type charger. This plugs in here. 
Uh, my, my USB um, connector was bent a little bit, but I'd simply bend it back and it's working fine. Is this kind of, this plugs in there like that, then you plug it into the charge port. Now when it does charge, when it's charging, it does flash, um, it has a, a, not a full strobe flash, but just a, a flash letting you know it's charging. And to activate it, what you do is simply hold this button and this comes on and then what will happen is as you can see it gets really really bright and so it, it fires in the sequence now I'm assuming that the circuit is rather uh, simple in, in what it's doing and, and again you just simply kind of hold the button again and um, goes out I'm not sure if there's other really didn't come with any instructions this is the package it came in this is how it came you cut the top off and it's resealable firehouse technology again I'll have links for this all below so you can just click on the links and as well as uh, some cards up above um, but what I think is happening here is again uh, because the LED this is a super bright Cree LED and LEDs are current devices so I think what this is doing is taking 3.7 volts uh, and building up the current and actually because you know it's the kind of double strobes so it's probably some kind of two-stage thing where you know current doubler or something like that fires the strobe recharges fires you know the LED recharges of this battery um, because some of the other uses I was thinking about is you know with like the bugs or bug six I have or the Wakira it has those bright LEDs on the front well I'm going to be doing a build here pretty soon of my own quad and I, I really don't want the full-on headlights, but having two of these as headlights strobing, I think would be really cool. Um, again, it would take less power than the always-on, but yet you'd still get the same effect of orientation. Now, I, I saw on Amazon that these actually come in colors. So this is the white version, so I believe it also comes in red, green, uh, and maybe even a, a blue, I can't remember, but uh, definitely red and green. So my piece is, is, uh, you know, if, if I could get this, you know, now for 28 bucks, it's a little bit, I think, pricey because you'd have 100 bucks in these with four of these uh, on a drone. Uh, so if you guys know where you can get this cheaper or something like this cheaper, let me know in the comments below because when I build this other drone, what I'd like to do is have, you know, white in the front strobing, red in the back strobing, and so I can fly it at a, at a further distance, uh, especially in inclement weather because you'll see some cool stuff coming up. I ran into this guy by the name of JJ Rotor Geek, uh, which turned me on to some cool stuff. So, anyways, that's another video. But back to this, um, you know, again, I'm thinking this would be a really cool alternative uh, for always on LEDs. So, anyways, uh, watch for more on this. I just kind of wanted to get this out of here and share it with you guys because I thought it was so cool. Again, big thanks to Stan. And uh, hey, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And don't forget the subscribe button over there. And we'll catch you in the next video where we do something with this guy. Cheers.